Okay, this clip from my conversation with Richard Dawkins does require a little bit of a setup. We just finished talking about the genetic code, the set of rules that the ribosome uses when reading a gene to build protein, and we were talking about the amazing similarities between the genetic code and machine language in computers. So this very basic digital language of zeros and ones that computers use. The genetic code uses nucleotides instead of zeros and ones for its digits. Early on in Richard Dawkins' career, he spent a lot of time working with computers, and they inspired a lot of his work in genetics later. And here he's going to talk about an analogy between things that we find in genetics and what we find in higher-level coding, so beyond machine language, the actual higher-level coding that programmers use when designing software. There are good analogies which we can still use. Uh, when I first starting, started programming for the Macintosh, um, where I was no longer using machine code. I, I used machine code on PDP-8s and, um, yes, mo mostly PDP-8. Sorry, and, and Apple II, of course, a lot, a lot with Apple II. Um, when I switched to the Mac, I was no longer using machine code. I was using high-level languages. And there, the analogy was rather nice with other aspects of genomics, because um, w when you're programming for the Mac, anyway, when I was doing it, you have a thing called a toolbox, which is a set of pre-written routines, which do things like pull down menus, shrinking windows, um, setting up um, those little boxes where you click and click the mouse in and it changes to a, to a, to a dot or an X. Yeah. Um, so those were all toolbox routines, which were, which were built in. And that's a very good analogy for what's going on in the genome. People were rather puzzled when they discovered that the human genome is no bigger than that of other mammals, like a mouse, for example. You sort of think, well, human dignity should require a lot more information. Um, but actually, the genome is about the same size. And the reason is that both mice and people in their embryology are calling routines from the same toolbox of routines. It's just like on a, on a computer, Microsoft Word and uh, Excel and um, all the other programs that we regularly use, they're all calling upon the same toolbox routines. Mm -hmm. That's why they look so alike. That, that's why the, pr the process of pulling down a menu or shrinking a window, expanding a window, et cetera, it all looks the same, whatever program you're using. And the reason is that they're all using the same built-in repertoire of toolbox routines. And it's just like that with the genome. So the mammalian genome has this set of toolbox routines. And the difference between a person and a mouse is the order in which those toolbox routines are called. So there, there is an, a very nice analogy there, which is at a sort of higher level than the yeah. punch paper tape analogy we were talking about earlier. So that was just a clip from my conversation with Richard Dawkins. You can see the whole thing. There's a link to that down below. Subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed it. I upload clips pretty regularly, talks and conversations and presentations that I've done on genetics and evolution. And I am gearing up to start doing weekly videos again here that are completely new, completely fresh.